Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Advanced Tech Visual. Uh, today the concept will be for the Intune. So uh, like uh, Intune, how it works, like what are the policy we can able to apply and uh, what kind of uh, application we can uh, deploy and what on the platform we can able to uh, manage from Intune. Uh, this is nothing but device management uh, as well as uh, app management. And also we can able to do some of the endpoint security as well. Okay, so we can create some of the policy and we can apply and uh, we can make it make safe for all the endpoint devices. Uh, this will help for the corporate level and also uh, uh, like you can uh, prevent your data and you can uh, uh, what do you say um, you can restrict your data and uh, you, you can avoid the breaches of the data from the organization's data and all you can make it uh, safe uh, this this help for the uh, complete uh, uh, admin uh, IT admin okay like uh, who uh, uh, work for the IT uh, so this tool also will be helpful for that and uh, and also this is Microsoft product uh like uh, you can uh, manage complete like end to end uh, for example from uh, identity uh, to endpoint device also like uh, all the ms so microsoft project uh, sorry all the microsoft product will be available and uh, you can do whatever uh, you want okay so let me start um clicking on the home uh, you can see all the status uh, for the compliance and how many devices added and uh, the health status account status everything you can see here and also if someone something new uh, they have released that also you can see here okay mm. This is uh, completely for the uh, home uh, and uh, I'll click on the dashboard. You can able to customize the dashboard over here. Uh, like what all the policies you, uh, you have applied, that is like uh, 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 the policies uh, installed, uh, the target machine or like how many devices is, uh, um, are there, uh, either Android, Windows, iOS machines, Linux, Mac OS. So what all the things are available so that platform also you can see it and in that, in that platform, how many devices uh, you have uh, installed it and all. Okay, and also you can see the device enrollment status, device management, device compliance status, client applications. So all the things you can able to see here and also compliant or non-compliant that device also you can able to see in the dashboard. Okay, this is for the dashboard and you can see the pie chart or like some uh, flows and all. Okay, and uh, let me click on all the services. Okay, so he, uh, if you click on all the services, whatever services is available for the Intune, that also you can able to see here. Okay, so here you can see apps also services, one of the services for the Intune and devices also there. Um, and endpoint security explorer uh, for analyzing and all and groups uh, reports uh, surface management portal and tenant administrator uh, and also intune for education is also available so whatever service is uh, associated with this intune so that you can able to see here okay so let me click on the explorer uh, inside the explorer i don't have the access and we have not uh, enabled these features so explorer will help for the analyzing and uh, what you can do it and what needs to be done and uh, so that uh, help you for the latest update and like uh, if they have like if you wanted to do some of the things uh, that also will suggest so that uh, help all, uh, that explorer will help you for the uh, explore uh, the new things and all, okay and let me click on the devices okay so once you click on the device you can see uh, the five platform uh, one is for the windows and ios or ipad mac os and android and linux machines so all five platform you can able to manage uh, from this intune okay mm, so let me click on the all devices so you can see whatever it is um, what is that uh, uh, like whatever it is added to the Intune from this organization so that we can able to see here okay so this is all the devices uh, either uh, win, uh, Windows Mac all the uh, thing we can able to see here okay so if you click on sit on, uh, click on the uh, all the devices and if you click on the device queries you can able to run some of the queries as well so that you based on your uh, knowledge uh, like you have to select for the battery or BIOS or Bluetooth so whatever you wanted to take the export or like you wanted to uh, check uh, search something and also that will help for you okay and the monitoring part for the uh, like uh, what are the configuration you have created or uh, some of the actions you wanted to see that okay so for that it will help you for the monitor level for example i have created one policy and uh, i wanted to see the logs okay so this uh, will help you for the thing uh, what you have done it and all okay so this is for the device action so recently what all the action i have done it and all so that i can able to see and from whom it is initiated and uh, to which target machine so that i can see and what is the action i, I had done it and all uh, that also i can able to see from the action uh, monitor level and uh, this will help uh, for the uh, troubleshoot or uh, recent action so that also i can able to check it okay and let me come to the uh, platform level so i'll click on uh, windows okay so before clicking i'll explain some of the options uh, here okay so device onboarding uh, yeah, like this is uh, windows 365 if you have any license or like uh, windows 65 uh, the desktop version you can able to access from the cloud based services okay this is windows 365 so if you have any license that also you can able to add it here okay and enrollment uh, for the end user machine so for example you have uh, 
uh, five platform uh, platforms right so uh, for that you can able to configure here and uh, if i clicked on the windows you can see you know uh, automatic enrollment okay so if i click on automatic enrollment uh, here uh, what are the things uh, we need to enable and all so before automatic on, uh, enable uh, we need to do that so this all the configuration has has to be done okay and uh, you can also scope it to the user level as well okay uh, this uh, this for the automatic enroll and if you wanted to do some of the scene and validation so that also you can able to do it and uh, co uh, management setting if you click on that uh, you can able to do the co, ma uh, co management setting also let me click on so the setting you can able to see and automatically install the configuration management agent to set that also you can able to do it and you can see uh, the override the co management policy and use intune of all the workflow so that also you can able to do it and you can assign uh, the user mm, and you can uh see you can assign the groups uh, uh to groups it should be added and all so that we can do it okay so that will help for the co-management system and uh, uh let me click on the device platform restriction so so here you can see uh the four di um uh, different different uh device management right so if you uh, want to create that you just create and you can able to do some of the restrictions okay some of the platform uh level also you can able to restrict okay so for example i'm creating for this uh, windows machine and that needs to be added or blocked minimum OS and that should be personal or uh, personal devices should be blocked or uh, that you can able to do it okay uh, and scope and assign this okay so like that you can able to do and also you can able to do for the android or restriction so that is a kind of uh, enrollment restriction what are the platform you wanted to do that and that you can able to do it okay and dim, uh, device limitation restriction so like how many devices should be added uh, like a particular user how many users uh, can be accessed so like that uh, able to uh, you do the configuration and enrollment notification uh, this is what uh, uh, something uh, if you have pushed enroll the uh, respective person should be notified right so that you can able to uh, do the configuration so for example this machine is uh, enrolled so that administrator uh, should have uh, right so like they should have notified no? that we can able, uh, able to do it and next for the uh windows hello features okay so uh, you can see the hello feature should be applied to which group central for example pin or fingerprint that also you can able to enable it okay next part for the device preparation uh, uh, policies okay this is help for the autopilot devices preparations and if you click on it so let me click on uh, automatic uh, preview so i have clicked on that this is device preparation policy for the enrollment okay so here uh, um, just this is the introduction and let me click on the next and type t and uh, device group which device group and all uh, we have to select some of the group okay selecting next so what are the configuration we can have uh, to add it okay for example uh, you want to add uh, some of the apps and um, and also you can able to add some of the things you know, that you can do it and user driven also we can able to do it. user level configuration this is so this is a, uh, that kind of thing also you can able to do it okay so if you click on here you can able to see script or out of box experience so that is also helpful for that okay for example some of the users for example you will be setting uh, windows application uh, the first level out of box uh, for example fingerprint enable uh, you have to enter the wi-fi so that option will be uh, asking you no know, while uh, uh, once you format or like if you take a new laptop you no know, that thing will be there no? so that set up administrator password or some password you have to set it no? so that kind of things out of box will be also available okay uh, this preparation policy is done and uh, next uh, let me click on the windows autopilot so if you click on the devices here uh, you, uh, if you import it uh, that file so that this uh, will be added and you can able to sync it and if you want you can export it okay so that also you can able to do it here so this is for the device auto um, uh, device upload and uh, um, so that uh, device you have to uh, like you have to create some of the uh, what is that hardware id and all using some of the script then you have to import here once it is imported the device will be auto piloted like if if you want to assign uh, that particular laptop to somebody else no so that autopilot will help you okay and uh, deployment policy what all the policy you wanted to deploy okay for example i'm going to create a one profile for the deployment uh, let me click on uh, windows pc and let me select test and uh, the convert all the targeted devices to call, uh, copilot and click on next here some of the out of box experience no uh, like uh, um, software license items and condition should not that should be hide and privacy setting also should be hide and user account asking uh, the type should be standard allow pre uh, provision the deployment also should be and lo login and some of the things you wanted to hide and some of the things like you should uh, give the access to that particular user no and also you can able to do the um, uh join level like uh inter id join or inter hybrid join that also you can do it and here you can self deploy deploying and user driven also will be there so that also you can able to do it okay so and then you can assign it to that users so this is help you help you for the um, auto uh, pilot deployment profile okay so some of the pro uh, you have done the autopilot like you have added the device and some of the uh, while install like you map the device to that particular user and you wanted to create some of the policies so that will help you for that okay
and enroll sorry and uh, enrollment status page you can see here okay so what all the enrollment you can able to do it and all so let me click here and let me type t and next so here show all the apps uh, and the profile configuration process uh, okay so that you can able to do it if you say yes and show error installation taken so this is help you for the uh, what are the things the logs the collection and all you can able to see okay so this is help you helpful for the troubleshooters and next is for Intune Connect for Active Directory. So this option will help you for the hybrid connections. Okay, so you have to download the uh, what is that uh, uh, the connector uh, and uh, install it to this uh, Active Directory. Okay, so for example, I have downloaded it. So this is uh, ODG connector and boot uh, strap boot strapper .exe. So that we have to install this in the uh, Active Directory. So that will be connected and you can do the hybrid connections. Okay, so this all the things for the uh, enrollment part and I have showed you for the Windows level and uh, app application uh, so this is app and uh, we have to add app uh, push certificate here like if you click on that you have to upload some of the uh, push certificate and that you have to take a um, license or permission from the app uh, then you can do the app uh, configurator if you click on that you can see the uh, details over here how many devices are activated and added that you can uh, do it okay so if you're going to do if you're adding that device and all you just click on add you can upload the imported data okay so that uh, will help you okay so add device putting these devices and all Okay, so like the following devices you have authorized and enrolled the app, uh, configurator via assistant. So this for this uh, Apple business management account is required and this is profile to enroll IS devices through Apple configurator create a policy. Okay, so let me click on settings and uh, here uh, enroll with user uh, infinity and without user infinity. So I will do one thing infinity and through company portal we can able to do it and set up assistance also. Uh, that also we can able to do it okay and uh, without user infinity so they should not get it to that that directly will create the profiles okay that's how we can able to create a the apple uh, configurator okay and enrollment uh, program token so this is uh, helpful for the um what is that uh, business and education institute and remotely enroll uh, apple devices enroll program token uh, let intune enrollment device registered with this program okay so this is helpful for that and you can able to create uh, some of the thing and you have to add the token or apple id so here you have to configure okay so that will help you for the auto enrollment okay bulk enrollment so that will help and enrollment option so enrollment type what we can do it so here we can able to create work and personal profile okay so see uh, here uh, uh, web based device enrollment device driven user enrollment device enrollment with company portal and uh, determine based on user choice okay so this is also we can able to do it okay so this type what type based uh, device enrollment if you want you can uh, enable it and you click on next and assign it to the users otherwise if you wanted to do some of the uh, uh, account driven user account enrollment that also and uh, uh, device enrollment with company portal so that also we can able to do so and also you can do the device restriction and notification also you can see here and uh, android also same and uh, you have to manage the google play store if you click on the manage google uh, play store and you have to add some of the thing uh, that required up uh, apple ids and all and you have to connect it to the here okay and uh, zero touch enrollment this is for the bulk enrollment method so link your zero touch account to intune and manage zero touch enrollment so if i clicked on zero touch so here we have to click on next uh, to account MMM provider, uh, personal one devices with work. Okay, so here also enrollment profile, you can see you no know, personal one device with the work uh, profile. Manage personal enrollment with work profile. If you click on here, uh, you can able to do the personal enrollment device with work profiles. Okay, so that I can do it. And corporate one, one device also you can able to configure here. And uh, the uh, enrollment profile you can able to create and Android uh, open super project. Okay, so for example, uh, corporate one devices, associated devices, so that if you want, you can able to do it. And some of the policies also you can able to create. Okay, so Wi-Fi uh, you want to configure and you can able to give the directly access to that. Okay, and uh, Microsoft uh, Teams device, so that you can able to do that kind of you can able to the associated uh, thing also you can able to do it. Okay. Mm. And uh, okay, and uh, Android device administrator, a personal and corporate uh, device with the device administrator privilege. So that also, if you want, you can able to add it. And uh, here, device uh, platform restriction and device limitation and so configuration device platform restrictions. You can able to do the some of the restrictions. Okay, and uh, corporate device identities. <laughs> so uh, corporate device identities, like uh, for example, if you want to add. Uh, 
the corporates like if you uploaded some uh, csv file or manually also you can able to enter so that serial number is available once it is that that will be corporate identities that also you can able to do it and device enrollment management so this is like whatever uh, that management done by whom and all that you can see and monitor uh, part also like uh, enrollment fail incoming that also you can able to do it here okay so this is completely for the enrollment in the devices so let me explain for the next class for the configuration and uh, conditionals okay thank you